One of the most frustrating things about using WooCommerce for me is the search functionality. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I have our standard search module from Elegant Themes. Now, this one is very good. You can customize it. As you can see, it looks very nice, but it doesn't really search for the actual products. It searches pages and posts as well. Now, this one here is from WooCommerce. First of all, it's very hard to customize it unless you use uh, CSS. Now, I would like to have the flexibility of making it look nice. And also, when I start searching here, it also doesn't give me my search results in a nice way. But now, the option that I really, really find very exciting is this option here. And I want you to take a look closely at what happens as soon as I start typing. You notice that? Now, this is using Ajax, and this just makes it very easy for me to see all the results right here. It's highly customizable. Now, you can add this search feature on your products, blog posts, pages, and so on. So, not only does it work for WooCommerce products, but it pretty much works across your whole website. That's what I'm going to show you in today's video coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Divi Ajax search. Now this search is available in the marketplace. And also I'd like to remind you that if you haven't bought Divi yet and you'd like to use Divi as your main page builder, as I do, I have a fantastic offer for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will also give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you where this plugin is and how you can get it. So over here, we are in the Divi marketplace and it's called the Divi Ajax search. I'll also include this in the video description below. So right now it goes for about uh, $29, but there's an offer here, the Cyber Monday offer, and it is only going for $21.75. To be honest, it's well worth it. As you can see, this does quite a lot. So now I'm going to show you how to install it onto your website and how to make it look nice. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded it and I've gone also gone ahead and installed it. So to install it, all you have to do is to click on add new to add a new plugin. You click on upload, choose file, and you navigate to the folder where you have all your downloads. So once you've located it, you just install it. And once you've installed it, you need to activate it. So this is now you see it activated. So as you can see here, it says activated. Now, once you install it, it goes on to your Divi website as a module. And this is really cool because it just pretty much works like any other module and you can go in and customize it. Now let's take a look and see how we can start using it and how we can customize it. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my template. So I'm going to come over here to Divi theme builder. And by the way, uh, it doesn't mean that this is the only way it can be used. You can use it on your existing pages as well. All right. So over here, I'm going to click on this pencil icon. So we're just going to add this module onto our page and then customize it. All right. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Okay. So we're going to scroll through here and uh, see where, okay, here it is. DV Ajax search. I'm going to select it. So by default, it comes in like this. It's not customized. It doesn't look like uh, it's styled at all. So this is where now we can customize it. So here we have the search field placeholder. So once we start typing here, this is going to be our placeholder text. So I'm going to I'm going to type in here, search the shop. Okay, so that's the text I need to go in here. Now the search results can also be customized here. So I just need, uh, let's say eight to show up. And it also says order by. So here we have modified date, title, and so on. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. And the order can be descending. That's okay. Now, here on the search area. So this is where we can say, okay, you know, in the results of the search, we want the title, the content, or the excerpts. So I'm going to say, you know what? I need the title. And oh, just the title. Okay. And then here is where you choose what you want the results to show. And this is where the power of this plugin comes in. So if I click here on this drop down, you notice that we have pages, so you can search through pages, projects, products, and so on. So this time, because here we are on the shop page, I want to search for products. Okay. So notice what happens now. I've selected products and over here on the display, it now 
asks me what I want to show on those little icons that show up in the Ajax search. So I can disable except the featured image is okay. And I also would like to uh, include the price. I can also set the number of columns here. So I want to go with four. Okay. And I can also use, I can also activate this, but you know what? I don't need to activate that now. I'll just leave that as it is. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now let's head over here to the design because this is where I really need to customize this. So the search field, we also have the field background color here. So we can actually go in and customize the field background color. So let's go in here and uh, see what we can do. So as you can see, when I start playing around with this, I'm starting to uh, change the color in there. So we're going to go with that field text color. We're going to set this to white and then the field focus color. So this is the color that shows um, here in the focus. I'm going to leave that as it is. And uh, the text color as well. I'm going to leave that as it is. Now here we have the field padding. So let's go with, uh, let's say 2%. So I really like to uh, have this slightly bigger. So uh, it looks really nice. So I think that looks great. Next, I'm going to come over here to my font and I'm going to choose Poppins. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want some consistency throughout my whole website. I've used Poppins throughout this page. So this is exactly what I want to see. So let's have a look here and see if this is looking great. Okay, so that's looking fine. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, make sure that this is set to medium. Okay, and then the size, I may want to increase it a little bit, maybe to about, say, 16. All right, so that's looking great. Moving on. Now uh, here we have our rounded corners. I'm just going to add maybe five is going to look much better here. And then we also have our border. I am going to add a border around here. So three is going to be fine, but I am going to play around with the color here. Okay. So right now you can see I've chosen white, but this is a bit too bright for me. So what I may want to do here is to go in and customize the transparency here, just bring it down a little bit like that. Now, already this is looking great and I like the way it is looking right now. Okay, we also have the search icon here, so we can also change the color of the search icon. But to be honest, uh, ideally I'd like to remove that because here, I mean, it's very clear to see that this is where you type into search. But anyway, I'll just leave it there for now. So, so far, so good. So this is looking okay. Uh, the next thing I want to go in and customize now is the, the results. So that's the search icon. So we have the loader as well and the search results text. Now, this is also very important because we want this to have the same text as we have on our site. And we're going to go with pop-ins and I'm just going to make this slightly smaller. So it's going to be about 14. Okay, so that's my uh, text. So here we also have the except. Again, we are going to uh, make this pop-ins and then the price changes to pop-ins and we're also going to change the color here. Okay, so we're going to go with this color and for the price, let's make it semi bold. All right, so that's looking great so far and I think that's all I need for now. I'm going to save now and then we're going to take a look and see what this looks like. Now, I'm going to disable this for now because we don't really want uh, need this. So I'm going to go into the settings here click on advanced visibility, then I'm just going to disable this. Okay. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save everything. And then I'm going to exit out of this, save it one more time. And then I'm going to come over here now to my products page and refresh this. So now we're going to see the new design that I've just done. And you can see here it's nice and bold. So let's see if this is going to work now. So I'm going to search for and now just by doing that, it is showing the results. And just by typing the first few letters, it is actually showing my products. And from here, I can then click the actual product that I need to see. And boom, just like that, this is going to now take me to the actual product. And now I am ready to buy whatever product I need to buy. So as you can see, this is very, very elegant. It's very, very powerful. And also it is very inexpensive. Now, the one thing that I really like about the licensing of this product is you can use it on unlimited websites. And this is really, really good. So this is what I highly recommend. The link to that is in the video description below. Let me know what you guys use for your WooCommerce uh, search.
uh, in the comments box below and uh, perhaps we can share with the community. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.